cold front and heavy rains that swept across the Western Cape are also expected to have a quite a negative impact on the Eastern Cape. The SA Weather Service has now issued a yellow L1 warning of disruptive snowfall in some parts of the province. Some East London residents saying the chilly conditions could impact their health. Our reporter Ronald Masinda is following the story and joins me now uh, to give us uh, this update. Ronald, good morning to you, colleague. We're seeing the chilly weather there could have an impact out in those Cape provinces. How are they directly, though, impacting on residents? Good morning to Melo and happy Youth Day. Don't be fooled by the short sleeve jacket that I'm wearing. There are several layers underneath and uh, that just goes to show uh, that uh, temperatures have certainly dropped here in the Eastern Cape. And one has to spare thought for those people who are living on the streets. Some of them are joining us now to have a quick chat about their own experiences. Siabulela, Siabulela Tata Ngekla Shalako, Kastalele Ngokuban Zuba, U Kaleni Nushala Pestratu, Injani Mekoela. Okay, the Buela. Oh, Nandi, Kale Utala, Pestratu, the age of fourteen years, Kalagam Shalabazadi from King Williamstown. Malunga upsika injani meko ya lapa ni sala ni banga api api busanti. Oh, Special culture music. Oh, and the infinite pet car cool because it's so it's and the morning I love the morning at the fan. I'm not going to be a bit of a bit of a bit of but the Gogovalisa ni petron joining a ba na band bomb tattoo up. Down there will I could give away well, well, Calaba, Laman bomb tattoo. I'm tattoo about basket, 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 a pet, I could be treated. Cause my best, my best boy, I said, a pushy, Pusuga, Umdo, Sala, and Lino, Soli, or Navazali, or Bugli TV. How let us see my tracks, this tattoo in Ambo, Kupira, I found Gapa, Angan, eight Latin. So it's not film with square square side. This is Basse, that's his pegging one. I eat him again. This is a toilet. Me come in. See, this is a pega. It's better to go and get a girl. He's for shimanty. It's better now. Police like two chance. I'm as damn. I'm not going to as you. And once a man will come normal as you. Those are common plastic. I don't feel like I'm a pants while plastic. When I go, I like a decay pants while plastic. So it's not easy. So I bet I'm not doing him fail and distant miles and going miles. But to be able to ban Luna. So, a nice safety. 
Well, uh, Sebulel and Sakayo basically saying uh, to Melo that he's been living on the streets since the age of 14. He's currently 40 years old. He says that uh, before coming to live here on the streets of East London, he experienced a life of crime that he perpetrated himself. And uh, that since then, he's been living on the streets. Uh, he's been trying to earn an honest living. Several of the, the homeless people who are here are people seen uh, next to the beachfront, which is a stone's throw away from where we are washing people's cars. And they say that uh, for the past few months, they've been targeted by law enforcement, uh, telling them that uh, they are not allowed to be washing cars there. So that's one of the issues that they are grappling with. He also uh, made reference to some of his own experiences during winter, where he tries uh, to find um, anything uh, to sort of, uh, you know, safeguard him from the cold weathers. Uh, so uh, that's the situation that we are in at the moment. At least there is some sunshine, uh, but uh, when it becomes later and during the early hours of the morning, that is when a lot of the people who are here, the homeless people, are concerned about uh, the temperatures. Yeah, and that's quite an important story, particularly on this Youth Day, Ronald, to highlight young people that are homeless, destitute, uh, you know, living under basically the clouds as their roof in every temperature, including the chilly weather, uh, having to find means to survive. This is the state of our country. And, of course, my colleague Ronald, uh, some, uh, Ronald Masinda, rather, out in the Eastern Cape, uh, placing that spotlight on, uh, you know, one particular gentleman been in the streets from the age of 14, now 40 years of age having to fend for himself and uh, during this chilly weather as well still uh, homeless and uh, you know this is one of the many stories that most young people in South Africa of course have to go through